Hi everyone, uh, I was supposed to make an agile page. Uh, I was working on doodling this uh, bird for quite some time. As you can see with some of my tries. Uh, a quick tip if you want to do something like that, work with uh, some kind of paper that has transparency so if you are not satisfied with something you don't have to erase it you just put it uh, on top of what you uh, accomplished so far and trace whatever you want and then you can develop uh, your uh, doodling or uh, whatever you call it uh, until you reach the what you are satisfied with so this is my bird and I wanted to uh, put it inside one of my art journals but uh, not one of them was satisfying for me in terms of composition so I'm going to uh, do it and on a paper and going to stick it inside this frame so what I'm going to do and I've already opened the uh, the frame uh, from behind moving this aside I'm gonna take this paper that comes inside the frame and I'm going to use it now if you don't like it because uh, basically this is very flimsy and it has uh, it, it's shiny and it it's a problem sometimes to work on uh, this kind of paper but I'm going to just sew it so I don't care and I don't care if it also and um, because of the gesso will uh, wrinkle it a little bit it will just add character so I'm going to work on this page first off I'm going to take gesso and start spreading it around you can use a brush or a spatula I'm going to use some kind of uh, I think it's spatula I don't uh, uh, I'm not sure uh, the exact word for it so I'm as you can see just smearing gesso this is going to give a, me a, a good primer for whatever I'm going to, to do on top and it also giving me texture so and you can work your way uh, in whatever direction you want you can do waves you can do vertical you can do horizontal whatever you fancy I don't really care, I'm just laying it down so I'll have a nice coverage for this paper. Now this technique I learned from uh, Mary Me Small Art, she has a great channel, you should check it out. I sh if I'll remember and I have sometimes uh, until I get to to load uh, the video I forget sometimes to leave the links below uh, but I will try and leave the link to Merumi's channel I, I as far as I remember she is called Mata and her channel is is called the uh, Merumi small art so as you can see I'm just making texture here so it will be interesting and now I'm taking a swing string and I'm just letting it be here on the page not planning just dropping it as it is Here we go. And now I'm taking more gesso and going over and I don't care if it's uh, 
if it moves I am just sticking it with the gesso to the paper Okay, now it seems like everything is stuck and I need to let it dry. So it will take some time, I'll be back when it's dry and we continue. I'm back and it's dry, I'll bring it closer, I hope you can see the string uh, that I've attached to my page with the gesso and now I'm going to stamp a little bit around the page, not sure if it will be, uh, how much of it will be shown after I'm finished with the paint that I'm going to put on the page but as always if it does it's great if it doesn't also i don't care we're just building layers i'm uh, not using a, a block for this stamp because i've got texture on my page and it won't uh, go uh, with the block it's easier uh, to do it like this kind of uh, framing my page with this uh, stamp but as I said uh, most mostly it won't show but it's okay Okay, so this is it and now I'm going to take my sprays, the sprays that I make from food, uh, gel food coloring with water and instead of spraying I'm going to try and I've got uh, two uh, purples here and two uh, blues and one black, we'll see how it goes and instead of spraying it I'm going to try and just put the color here with the nozzle and now spraying water and hoping that it will go yeah I'm gonna do like this Spraying with water and hoping it will carry. Okay, if you don't like a uh, like the tool that I have here, I'm just go going to take some paper towel and absorb it. I'm thinking that this is this will take a lifetime uh, this way so I'm thinking I need to take uh, the spray with a brush to help it 
instead of using the the pump no also too too thin let's see what I've got there's never the the right size no matter how many paint brushes I have there will, there will never be the exact size that I want <laughs> Okay, let's see. I hope I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing. On the edges of the paper, I'm gonna help it along. Like so, and I'm gonna turn it over so I can do the other side. to help it along okay now it's getting somewhere Sometimes it drips and sometimes it doesn't. I was hoping that it will pick a, a ride on the string and that's how it will be more interesting. Again, flipping it over, it's just easier for me to work with the paintbrush with my right hand and lifting with my with my left so and I really hope you can see what I'm doing Okay, I'm thinking that I really need to let it dry before I'm moving to another, to adding another uh, color here and so I can see what's happening. So again, I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back. I'm back. Uh, it's not uh, dry yet, but I'm thinking I do want to spray a little bit and that's not the color I wanted. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's too sky for me. I wanted something darker. I hope it will uh, just go with the purple and then it will be yeah as I said I want it darker and now I'm going to let everything again drip that's more like it
yeah that's what I wanted and now I really need to let it dry before I continue so I'll be back hi I'm back and the background is dry I quite like it and now I want to bring in my <laughs> bird that was the beginning of uh, this whole page so I'm just gonna glue it down and then I want to add some color to it so it will be it won't be stark white on all this uh, background I fussy cut it uh, from uh, the paper I drew it on as much as I can okay white glue on I've sprayed after I finished uh, doodling it I've sprayed it with fixative so there won't be any smearing of the black uh, I don't know pen felt pen that I've used I'm also going with the white glue on top of it to seal everything and to be sure that it's glued down perfectly and as I said I want to add the color to it so it will be better after there is a coat of the uh, glue so and uh, this needs to dry and I want to add again from the same uh, stamp that I've used before That's what I was looking for. I'm going to stamp uh, to add to my page with this stamp. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna add a little bit of color on this uh, branch with flowers that I'm stamping yeah let's see where or where else do I want it like so and okay I think this is it yeah let's see um, I'm thinking I need to add from the same colors that I used and not introduce another color so let's see how I'm gonna make it this is the purple I used and a fine brush and maybe just and in several places where I stamped the flowers just to add more interest and I'm thinking
thinking I need to add from the blue not only the purple here I'm not trying to be exact I'm just adding extra uh, extra interest extra paint <laughs> to what I've already done where is the blue another I need to spray it on somewhere not this one not this blue this blue put it on the color on the acrylic block how do you what does it called the one that's used for the stamps forgot just playing with the color there is no uh, rhyme or reason to make uh, all the flowers the same or not the same just where I think it should be I'm adding color like uh, working with watercolors you can't really control it and you are just making some kind of impression to uh, remember that when it dries it the color lightens up it doesn't stay that uh, vibrant so you need to take it into consideration the only thing I'm thinking uh, is that to add is of course I need to every to wait for everything to get dry but I'm thinking I will add some kind of green for all the stems here and of course once uh, the my bird will dry I will uh, add a little bit color to it so it won't scream white on this page liking what it's turning out to be but as I said I need it uh, to get dry before I can see if I need to add anything except for what I said about the green and adding to my uh, bird okay again I need to <laughs> wait for everything to dry I'll be back I'm back so uh, everything is dry I added a little bit of a uh, color here in between the legs and here in the feather tails so it won't be 
like out of uh, the background my uh, uh, bird and I'm you I'm going to use these markers um, to add the green uh, to the stems and leaves and maybe a little bit more color to my bird what's good with these markers are that uh, they are kind of transparent so it's not a, a color that will block everything out and we often uh, disregard uh, office supply or back to school supply and I find that there are several things that are quite uh, great to use from office supplies or uh, back to school supplies because now it's uh, I'm just adding green but it's really really subtle and that's what I was going for I don't want uh, something uh, bold here I'm going to bring it uh, close to the camera so you can see what uh, how the green is uh, turning out here I hope you can see here and so I'm going to uh, go all over uh, the page with this uh, green and maybe add a little bit of color to my bird and I'll be back I'm back I've finished adding a uh, color with my um, uh, markers uh, to all the stems and leaves and flowers and also to my bird I hope you can see what I've done and basically this is it I just feel I don't know why I feel like I need some a, a silver splatter all over this page so I've put here a silver acrylic paint I'm going to add water to it and going to use a fan brush mixing it it's really subtle but that's what I want to add don't know why it just screams to me that it needs it of course I, I will have to see how it it looks when it dries and I think this is it for my page yeah I quite like it and I just needed and uh, just need it uh, to dry and this is it <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it will give you some ideas of uh, things to make uh, thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments and I'll be seeing you in my next video. So bye for now.